that players understand. So half the time, when you keep making changes like this, it, it puts your players in a position that when you lose the ball, they're not always quick to, to recover or, or know how to cover. Uh, Guadarrama is always coming back like we're seeing now, and therefore it leaves one. So three are, are, are very capable. That allows you to add an extra player in the midfield, and, and that's maybe where we're seeing the disruption. Here's a there chance, it is. and San Antonio FC is on the board in the opening minutes as it's Omar Gordon for the one nil lead. He needing to get on the attack early. Great service from the outside by Cochran. And an easy finish for Omar Gordon as that one got through to him off the crossbar and in. And this is the, the interesting part for teams is you score the early goal like this, as we talked about, uh, that, that Tulsa's given up early goals. And maybe you just don't want to push him a little bit too much here. You know, we, we talk about uh, the manager or the coach. It's not that you're just the coach of the team from a, a tactical standpoint. You're a leg manager. Vukovic set piece. And another turnover by San Antonio's Gamble works it ahead for Rivas. Rivas with a strike and Tulsa the equalizer in the 51st minute. Joaquin Rivas, his fifth goal this season and his 10th career goal with the Roughnecks. Now we've seen it right from the opening whistle of the second half. And when you give the ball away in your half, it leaves you open for counterattacks because your team is already spreading out and pushing up field. And they didn't waste any time getting that shot. Tremendous shot, but it's... He skied, but couldn't get under it. A strike and just wide of goal from the outside there. The take by Elizondo for his first touch here since coming on in the second half. San Antonio FC earning their fifth draw of the season and the Roughnecks remain winless, but it's their sixth draw of the year. And the first of this rivalry matchup uh, earns level tonight.